Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of September. It is a general reading. That uh, being said, it may or may not be your uh, your story. If it if it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, so. <clears throat> Six of Cups. So you're dealing with someone you know. Um, it could be someone has returned from the past. Um, whoever it is, it's like a, I feel like you're remembering. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Um, about a... Maybe this person wearing a mask or that this person wears a mask. You may believe uh, that this person wasn't truthful in the past or that they're not being truthful about a past event or something you've experienced here that it because it's it's bothering you it is in fact uh bothering you so much that you will hold back when it comes to this person or hold back uh with regards to giving them another chance you um somebody there is an opportunity here for change or for uh um another chance something you believe to be true there's something you believe having to do with that opportunity and it has to do with mass and role playing yeah role playing dressing up pretending to be somebody you're not so that's what I'm picking up on this card so that is how you could be feeling about them or about something from the past that relates to that in some way it's what holds you back you're afraid to give that person another chance um you're you have repressed emotions here having to do with that particular situation and um you're seeking clarity or would like things to be clear you would like to overcome uh, these difficulties between you but there's something that bothers you and it's like uh, something that makes you maybe with the grapes here uh, feeling somewhat bitter or leaves a bitter taste in your mouth with regards to what happened um, you're looking at the details and you are uh, and you're looking at the details you're preparing for a decision and you're doing digging here to get to the truth of who this person really is perhaps or is what they are offering or telling you true you have a sense of foreboding we see it here when it comes to this opportunity and it weighs very very heavily on your mind again the eight of uh, coins um, looking at the detail being very focused on detail
can we get around that obstacle? And when it comes to that question, it, it seems like um, you're unsure. It looks like there's a mountain feeling threatened, wanting to guard what is yours, a lot of anxieties, um, your old fears kind of resurface. And this could be that you would be doing all of the work in this relationship. And that the other person's promises are empty. They promise to make change. They promise to put effort to work on the relationship. But you're afraid you're the one that's going to carry the weight here. So, you feel, okay, you feel that something is not right here with this, with whatever it is they are, uh, this communication you've received from them. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> There's the, the Seven of Swords. All right, so you feel uh, they are deceiving you or trying to deceive you with what they are trying to offer you or what they're telling you so you're not happy with that you're not happy with your options because yeah you see because um whether or not there's 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 going to be a beginning or an ending seems to be hidden it's like everything's up in the air and the journey looks to you to be like it's it's very risky you know it's going to be challenging it's going to be challenging and nothing is clear with the moon and you're suspecting deception here so here again we see that we have the opportunity that you are trying to decide You're trying to decide whether you can believe this person or not. Whether they are being sincere or not about wanting to work on the relationship. On putting effort into the relationship. And it is what you would be wanting. You know, uh, you do desire this relationship, but logically, uh, your mind is telling you no. It's telling you if you take that opportunity, this is where you're headed. The tower. So, um, here you don't know what to do you whatever's happening here is happening for a reason you have a sense of foreboding I'm just look a little deeper here about yeah about this new beginning about what they're telling you at this meeting they're hiding something and you're not happy with the options it just keeps repeating itself the same thing over and over so I would say to follow your gut instinct on this. Let your intuition guide you with the moon through the darkness. You're very, very intuitive. You will be very intuitive at this time. If there is something wrong, you are going to pick up on it. And as much as you do desire 
to have what they're promising you, you must follow your intuition. You must heed it. But in the end, it's up to you to decide. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.